Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of classifying two-dimensional shapes. This is standard 5.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 12 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have this strange looking graphic organizer. It's a type of Venn diagram, but it's just got one really big outside circle that encompasses all triangles. And then we've got an inner circle that just has isosceles triangles. And so we need to find which figures is going to be more than one that can fit inside this isosceles triangle. Well, we need to go back just a moment. We know all triangles have three sides. All triangles can be classified on their side length and by their angles. But in this case, we're looking just at side lengths. So there are three different ways that we can classify shapes based on their side lengths. So first, we've got isosceles triangles, and those are going to be pretty simple two equal sides, at least two equal sides. Could possibly have all three sides that are equal, but at least two equal sides. I always kind of remember that you've got two different sets like this. You've got SOS, same, opposite, same, or you've even got ELE, -E, equal, long, equal. Either way, isosceles means two equal sides. Next, we're going to look at our equilateral triangle. So our equilateral almost has the word equal just spelled a little bit incorrectly right there. And that means it's got three equal sides. And then our final one is going to be our scalene. We're not going to see that very often. And it's got zero equal sides. All three are actually separate side lengths. So let's take a look at our figures right here. So I'm just going to kind of draw down here some figures. All right, so figure one, you notice that we've got one little hash mark right there. I've got two hash marks right there on the hypotenuse. And then I've got three hash marks right there. So that means that all the hash marks talk about the side length. They didn't really tell you that, but they are letting you know that that's the, those are the different side lengths. So you notice I've got three different side lengths. That means that none of the side lengths are equal. So figure one is actually going to be a scalene triangle. If we want it to be technical, it's a scalene right triangle because you notice we've got a right angle right there. So it does not fit in our our isosceles. We're looking for isosceles. Two, notice we've got three different hash marks, but they're all just single, which means all three sides are the same. So we could call this both isosceles because it's got at least two. We can also call this equilateral. And if we wanted to, we can look at the angles. Those are acute angles. So we've got one so far. At three, three looks just like one. We've got one hash mark, two hash marks, three hash marks. So it is a scalene. It's another right scalene. So we're not going to use three. So four, there we go. That's what we usually look at when we're thinking of isosceles. It's got two that are the same. So the, the two long ones are exactly the same. That bottom one's a little bit too short. So that's going to be separate. But it's got two side lengths. It's just an isosceles. It's also going to be acute. All three angles are acute. So we're good on four. Let's just check five. Five is, these two are the same. So you've got two equal there and you've got the hypotenuse that is separate. So it's also isosceles. It's actually a right isosceles just because it's got a right angle. But we can include that. So we're looking for two we're looking for four, and we're looking for five, which means our answer here is going to be J.